Hello everyone, my name is David Arena and I work on the 3D scanning team here at GoEngineer. Today I'll be showing a brief overview of editing boundaries inside of Geometric Designic software, specifically the Fit Boundary option. This function is available in the Designix Plus and Pro versions of the software. Let's look at some of the options. So here you can see a scan of a part. Uh, the editing boundaries function is useful for reducing the effect of noise and roughness on the mesh boundaries, modifying the feature shapes of a mesh, and creating a cat-like mesh. This particularly works well with sheet metal parts. So we're going to go up and go and edit some boundaries here. We'll go in the polygons tab, edit boundaries, and you can see we have six different methods of editing boundaries. Today we're going to focus on the fit boundary. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and say what kind of shape I want. Let's say I want to do a circle, and within that circle, we have different methods. We could do a best fit. So if I select on that boundary, you can kind of see that orange preview of the circle. We can also change that to a minimum boundary. So it's going to fit to the inside. We can change that to the max boundary and get on the outside of the boundary. We could also say a hole. And a hole is going to basically create an inscribed circle. I'm going to change that back to best fit and we'll go ahead and apply that. And now you can see how it sharpens that circle, making kind of a perfect mesh circle on that boundary. So I'm going to repeat that process on these other boundaries, these circular boundaries here. And I can say apply. And you, then you can see how clean and sharp those boundaries are. And I'll finish with this smaller hole here. So that's about it for fitting boundaries to a circle. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go ahead and change that fitting shape from a circle, and we'll go ahead and pick a rectangle this time. So let's go find a couple of rectangles. And again, we've got various options, best fit, min and max boundary, and we'll just keep it at best fit. So I'm gonna zoom up on these two rectangular shapes here and pick on both boundaries and go ahead and apply that. And after we do that, you can see how clean those rectangles look on the boundaries there. We're going to go ahead and change that from a rectangle to a slot this time. And we'll go ahead and pick on that slot there. And there's another one here on the right side. Apply that. And after that's done, we can kind of zoom up here and verify that it's a nice, clean edge. Let's continue on with the boundary fitting. So after fitting some of these boundaries to specific shapes, we can kind of focus on the outside here of the part. That said, that's going to be a freeform fit because it doesn't fall into any primitive category. When I select on this boundary, however, the whole boundary highlights, and you can see here I can control the smoothness of the boundary. But what happens is on sharp corners, things start to get kind of rounded off. It gives us a preview again in that orange boundary. You can see it's happening up here as well. Anywhere there's a sharp corner, it's going to deviate too much for us. So I'm going to go ahead and use this other tool where we actually split the boundary on these sharp corners. So I'm going to kind of walk around the part, and wherever there's a sharp corner, I'm going to pick on it to split that boundary. Now you can see the fit is much better on those sharper corners. It's just a matter of kind of walking around the part and applying these split points so we can get a better fit going around the perimeter of the part. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a few more sharp corners and I'll kind of make my way around the part. And we can, wherever there's a fillet here, let's, for example, I can kind of break that up. And you can see that the fit is improving as I'm walking around the part. I just need to continue on and we'll go from there. So this is the result of our mesh editing on the boundaries. You can see here that on all these features that everything is very clean and very sharp. And so is the outside of the part as well. That's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.